uh, the way I felt that it was like a, a, a little version of Kafa Kela. Because Kafa Kela, what they do is they take the soul and they throw it across the universe. And the soul sees the universe, so technically it can get this pleasure by seeing this amazing place, but right away it understands that it has nothing to do with it, it's not getting anything, no rewards, anything that it did just brought it uh, the worst reaction, anything that it could have done it didn't do, that's kafakela. the soul understands what it could have achieved in this world, what it could have gained in this world, and all the bad things what it did. And the, it brings the soul to this amazing, to, uh, sorry, the wrong word, to this great uh, suffering. So for me, it felt like this taste. And one second, they showed me this wisdom, this godly wisdom this, of this whole universe. And right away, the understanding was that, oh, you have nothing to do with it. You got to go. So for me, it was like a, literally a, t a little taste of kafakela that you like, you know, you putting it in front of you. And right away, you're like, okay, you can have it. You got to go. So which is kind of me'ain kafakela. They're showing you what you could have achieved and what you missed, yeah. and they're showing you, oh, you could have did, done this mitzvah, and this is what you would have get, but you didn't do the mitzvah. Mm. Nah, 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 nah. You know, they come to annoy you. And, and the soul, uh, you know, gets this yeah. suffering that you can't understand. It's literally, I always give the example that as if I would come and tell you 20 years ago, more to be precise, like 15 years ago, give me now $100 to invest in Google, I guarantee to you that in 10 years you're a billionaire. And you'll be like, eh, I can't see how a $100 investment make me a billionaire. It's fake. And then 15 years later, you see this company, then, and you're like, I can't believe it. With $100, I could have been a partner in this company? So now in the world, you come to a person and you tell him, put filling on. He's like, this piece of leather can do something? Nah, yeah, I don't believe in it. And then the Neshama goes up to Neshamaim and they're showing this piece of leather and they're telling him, oh, if you would have wrapped this around your hand, this is what you would have gotten. And the Neshama is like, what? I missed this because I didn't take two minutes out of my days to put filin on? And then the, the suffering the Neshama gets is, is beyond comprehension because we don't understand what it means. But the, trust me, the Neshama suffers from that because it says... Two minutes, I would have gained this? So what I felt, I, I feel, there was like literally a glimpse of, of what Skafakela can be. This seeing it and right away, because I experienced right away the suffering that I'm seeing everything and they're pulling me out. I always say the same thing. I felt this pleasure, but right away the, the complete opposite. 